Hi, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what it takes to be a good data analyst. Okay, so I, I get a lot of questions asked uh, from people who are already doing um, sort of in, in the space of data analytics and saying, look, how do I get better? What are the areas that I need to focus on? So there, there are probably a lot of areas that you should focus on, but there are these are the three key areas that I think you should focus on. Okay, so the first one is you should be able to answer the question. It may sound obvious, um, but a lot of the time, uh, as data analysts, you might get a bit of obsessed about analyzing the data and coming up with something interesting as opposed to answering the fundamental business question. Now, if the business question is straightforward, like um, is, are our sales up year on year or down because of COVID, that's quite easy. Sometimes the business questions aren't as straightforward. So for example, the question might be, what's been the impact of COVID, right? Okay, so that's just a broad question they get. They ask you, what you need to do, do is go back and reframe that question into something you can answer with data. Okay, so what's been the impact of COVID? Well, impact, how are we gonna measure impact? Okay, so impact can be measured in terms of sales, registration, visits to website, visits to store, footfall, all that kind of stuff. So depending on your business, go back to the business and say, look, you asked me what was the impact of COVID, I'm going to go away now and analyze uh, uh, the data to understand what the impact on sales has been, registration, conversion, whatever's of interest to the business. Okay, that the reason you want to do that is because before you start analyzing any data, you need to make sure that you've understood what the business wants you to answer. Okay, and that is quite key because if you answer the wrong question, then you failed. Um, and that your primary task as a data analyst is to answer uh, business questions. Okay, so you know, understand what the question is. If it's not a direct question, go back and reframe the question in a way that it can be answered with data and see what the business says. If the business is a, you know, gives the affirmative that yes, this is what we want, then brilliant, you go off and do it. If they go, no, 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 that's not what we're really thinking, then you, you, know, you either need to explore more with them or go back and have another think and think, or oh, maybe they're not talking about impact in terms of uh, impact now, maybe they're talking about impact in next year in terms of how many customers would we have. So if you're like a, a subscription model, you know, you, you, you could have done very well this year. Lots of people could have subscribed to your services because they're locked in the house um, because of COVID. But next year when, I mean, when COVID's finished, how many of those people will stay? Okay, so you need to go um, back to the business and try and validate the question before you go off and answer the question. That is quite key. It seems like an obvious thing, but the difference between a good analyst and a bad analyst is someone who's able to then uh, quantify uh, the question and be able to make sure that they're answering it. The second thing is that you have to be able to be, be very good at the tools that you use. Now, some analysts, um, you know, are very good at one tool, maybe two, um, but a really good analyst will be good at one or two tools, but have the ability to pick up any other tool pretty quickly. Um, because as a data analyst, you're not really asked to do that much in uh, depth. Uh, for particular uh, things, you know, it normally ingest the data, analyze it. Um, you know, uh, transform the data, come up with uh, the answers that you need for solving or answering the business question, and that's it. They're not asking you to do anything very technical with the tool. Um, okay, so typically what, what you find a good analyst, the difference between a good analyst and an okay analyst is someone who can, who's, who's got the transferable skills to be able to pick up any tool. So if you're using Power BI, for example, as your regular tool, and suddenly you're being asked to look at data in Tableau, you should be able to transfer over the principles of Power BI. If you know how to use SQL, and suddenly you're asked to use R, you should be able to do that. Some tools are obviously harder, like things like SAS and SPSS might require you to have particular tool knowledge. But again, if you are good, if you're a good analyst, you should be able to transfer that skill and know what to do, or at least know where to find the answer. So, you know, if you were given SAS, for example, like banks uh, still use SAS to analyze uh, their data. If you were asked to analyze the data in SAS, you'd at least know, right, okay, it's going to be like a, a, a code, a programming language like R or Python, and then you just do the research, whether you Google the answer or whether you go to the SAS forums uh, to find out um, how to do certain queries. Okay, so that's the second thing. The third thing is um, you have to be very good at presenting your findings. Now, as analysts, we like to uh, show how much work we've done. So if it, especially if it's been a complex piece of analysis and we've done something new or something really difficult, we'd like to show that. The reality is the business doesn't care, okay? Um, well, the business does care. I wouldn't say the business doesn't care, but it's not important to the business, you know, that, that you did this technique, statistical technique, or you analyzed the data like this, or you had to learn this new package in order to do uh, the analysis. The business just wants to know what the answers are. And if you can present the answers back in three bullet points, that's even better. Um, so, like I said, the three things that I would advise if you want to go from being a good, from an okay analyst to a good analyst, one is, know how to frame the question so that you can answer it with the data. Number two, 
be able to not only use one or two tools very well, but the ability to use other tools if required. And three, be able to present your findings in a very simple way. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, please do comment below. And if you have any questions, also put them below in the comments. Please do like the video. And of course, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.